Um, good morning uh, to you all. Um, today I'd like to give you um, a summary in English uh, of what we have done at the Dasman Diabetes Institute regarding the coronavirus and COVID-19. Uh, um, my name is uh, Fahad Al Mulla. I'm a professor of genomic medicine <coughs> and I hope you just uh, bear with me um, today so I can take you through uh, our argument uh, of what we think it's going on around uh, uh, the world. So if I may uh, take you through uh, my uh, talk here. Um, we've seen a really big disparity between uh, people th uh, that have died uh, between different countries and some say because how the government has behaved uh, for example the Chinese uh, encouraged total um, um, lockout, lockdown of, of cities while Italy were more relaxed and took their time and, and so on uh, Definitely so. However, the Chinese, with their total lockdown, they really had a large number, but per population, this is small. What is striking is the number of deaths uh, in Italy, which have now overseeded and overcome the Chinese. Um, similarly, uh, we've seen the death rate rising in Spain. Uh, and the UK is creeping up as well. Only yesterday it was 48. Uh, today the uh, figures are much higher. Um, and so what we thought, uh, while in some countries the number of deaths is higher, I don't think that the this demographic distribution of the population has a lot in it, yes, people with older age or with other comorbidity are dying more frequently. Um, that's correct. However, we think uh, of another mechanism here that is playing a major role that other people and scientists have ignored already uh, for reasons that we do not understand. We see here that in Kuwait, for example, the uh, number of um, deaths is zero uh, and people are recovering uh, much faster uh, than, than usual, so, which is good news. So we decided to actually sequence the complete viral genome, which is an RNA molecule, a single positive strand, and we've sequenced it now from four cases. We keep we're going to keep sequencing every day, and we submitted this to GISAID. Um, you can see this at Next Strain or GISAID. So we are among the first countries uh, in the region um, that uh, actually uh, sequenced the the virus. Uh, and, and really, I have to thank uh, my boss, Dr. Qais Al Duwari at DDI. Uh, but also uh, very much so uh, our colleagues uh, at the Ministry of Health who encouraged us a lot. Uh, of course, the, uh, the, the minister, um, Dr. Basil Sabah and uh, Dr. Uh, Mustafa Rida, uh, who have been instrumental actually in uh, um, diverging the effect of this virus uh, in Kuwaitis. Uh, I mean, I have colleagues in the UK and who's, who's telling me, can we come to Kuwait? Because it looks like you guys know what you're doing. And I really am thankful. Leadership is ex extremely important uh, in this regard. So um, we submitted to just aid and not really anybody can do this. We've sequenced the whole genome of the virus, in this case 29,902 bases completely. And, and so the power of this is, of course, now we can compare it to the strain in New Zealand, in America, 
in Japan and see what is the difference uh, between our strain and the strains around the world and so we understand why the virus is behaving differently in different countries. Um, and for that, uh, what we realized uh, is that the original strain, which is from Wuhan, um, uh, actually is here. And then as time passes by, uh, the, the virus itself, which is here in gray, actually mutates and forms kind of sisters and cousins. So we call these clades or clads, depending on how you want to name it. And so these might be the cousins of the original virus. And so every time we sequence something, we know uh, the, it came from the original virus, but it added some mutations to it. And you can see here the mutations <coughs> that has been described in all the submissions. Uh, and so if you look at the Chinese Wuhan, which is gray in color, uh, you also see that there are other colors of viruses and colors here meaning that there are uh, other strains or clades or um, of, of viruses um, and so you can imagine that a guy with a blue um, virus uh, mutated virus that in this case is colored blue has traveled from uh, this place to Europe and infected everybody with this blue virus while the a person with the yellow or green has traveled uh, to the US and infected a lot of people there so that the predominant clad uh, would be uh, an orange there in, in the US or, or, or red. And so what we think is happening, and, and by the way, Kuwait is around here, uh, very near to Germany and the original virus. Uh, here, we think is a cluster of viruses or a coronavirus that has mutated in the S protein, which is the capsid or the corona, uh, the capsid protein, the surface protein, the S protein. And this is, we think is extremely dangerous because it made the virus more uh, virulent. It infects cells quicker. It binds to the ACE2 receptor much stronger. And, and we are working on this at the moment. So uh, I hope you understand the differences between different things. So I want to make this clearer. Uh, again, I just want to repeat that it doesn't look... Uh, I mean, you have to really think outside the box when you have a country like Germany who's advanced medically with the death of 94 people uh, only two days ago. Today, the uh, yesterday, the figure uh, actually increased to 123. Uh, I mean, compare that to uh, 6,077 uh, deaths in Italy. Uh, I mean, there is something wrong. Don't tell me the Italians are different than the Germans. And well, they're not. Well, you know, everyone is different than the other. But however, we think also that the virus it might, might be different. So I just wanted to remind you uh, of this. Uh, so uh, this is what we thought. We divided the uh, the, the viruses in between Kuwaitis and Germans and uh, UK and Switzerland into uh, ones that carry that S mutation. And indeed, we find the yellow ones, which carries that uh, spike or surface protein mutation or the spike mutation and the green ones that do not carry this. And this became very interesting because now you can see that Germany has a lot. I mean, most of the sequencing in Germany that was done were of the green type. The Kuwaiti virus is the same. Uh, it's of that green type. It's somewhere here. Um, and so we think this is less aggressive. And that may explain why the German had uh, less 
uh, deaths. However, you can see there are a few people with the yellow as well in Germany. So this situation might change. This is why we're encouraging people to really uh, uh, follow the lockdown uh, governmental instructions. And so the difference here is that these uh, coronaviruses, these clades of the coronaviruses, the yellow ones, are very aggressive and they uh, really are mainly distributed in uh, um, North Italy, Milan, uh, France, uh, Portugal, um, and uh, Hungary. Um, so we think also in Ireland, and so these places might suffer higher than usual uh, death rates, uh, unfortunately. Um, and so this is our explanation, and this really hammers these things down, that you can divide the virus now into a different clades, and we need to keep doing that to understand exactly around the world, to understand exactly how the virus is behaving. Um, we are very thankful that we've got uh, in Kuwait the Nova, Nova Seek, which is a sequencer that we can uh, sequence a whole human genome in it uh, in a few days. Uh, we also are very grateful for, for the government in supporting us. And really, why is this discovery that we have done important? It seems everybody's focusing on uh, action, but these actions they tell you are based on scientific facts, but no one, and I have not seen anybody really discovering why, um, why are these uh, viral mutations not taken into consideration. So now, governments should really plan action depending on the strain they have, uh, and so sequencing is important. The, the government should really minimize aggressive strains to come into this territory, um, and perhaps the best model is we lock down people with the aggressive strain and let the less aggressive strain take its toll. So um, we talk about herd immunity and so on. Uh, but, but, but let's lock down people with the aggressive strain. This thing is mutating constantly, so we need to constantly monitor uh, the virus. And this is exactly what we're doing at the Desman uh, Institute. Um, this might take really two routes. Uh, the virus might mutate and kills itself. Uh, we hope this happens. Uh, I will be the first to tell you if, if this happened. Uh, or it might not. It might actually mutate into something that can spread in the air, which is uh, you know, going to be a disaster. But we hope not. But look at this. Only yesterday that the University of Birmingham and the government of the UK decided Monday 23rd that they will give 20 million pound investment in whole genome sequencing. I mean, you know, we've been doing this since um, four or five years and we have most definitely not, get, not even got uh, half a million. Uh, but I'm thankful to the people who are supporting us at Desman and hope we can really uh, move uh, into um, protecting everybody. Uh, I thank you for hearing me. Um, I have an important saying, uh, together we are stronger. So keep fighting and thank you.